Are you looking for the not-so-ordinary collection of furniture and design? Urban Home brings their clients the best and most innovative concepts from around the world. Interior stylist Jody Mason from Windsor, Ontario designs for her clients in a fun and cost-effective manner. Her designs bring a harmony of creative, casual sophistication with a wide and unexpected choice of furniture pieces and fixtures. It's important for me to discuss with my clients not only how they want their room to look, but how they want to feel when they enter their space. I also think it's important to understand that any one item by itself doesn't mean a whole lot, but how that item relates to all the other elements in the room is what really creates that harmony and that sense of contentment, which ultimately allows us to create that wow factor. Creative, casual, sophisticated, that's who we are. 3D Virtual Design is an exciting and creative technology now offered by Mason. Because I was struggling with, um, I guess, relaying concepts to my clients and allowing them to, to see exactly what I was trying to, uh, you know, portray for their space. When I saw the presentation, I loved the idea. And during the holidays, I had gotten a, an email from uh, the Three Dream to try it for free during the holidays, which was perfect for me because I didn't have a lot of time. Uh, but since I was home with the kids during the holidays, I thought, oh, I'll just dabble in this. And so when I tried it, I was hooked on it immediately because it became almost addictive for me because it was fun and easy and I could see, I could visualize, you know, uh, what I was trying to portray. And so I started um, just doing a couple clients on trial for fun to get practice in my own space and that sort of thing. And then when I had my first clients in to see it, they were thrilled. It was, it was, they were really, really receptive. And I felt really good that I was offering them um, something, um, you know, concrete to see that helped them feel like the money they were spending was well spent. Sometimes we'll do a little storyboard or, um, you know, a magnetic plan or a, a drawn-out little space plan, but that doesn't really create that level of excitement in the client to, you know, be able to, to see really what this project is going to end up looking like. So that's what I found. It gave, it gave a lot of credibility and value to the service that I was offering uh, from a design perspective. I would say, like, by the time I visit the house, um, you know, take pictures and measurements, and then when I sit down on the computer, depending on the size of the room and the project, but, like, an average size of the room, I would be done an hour to two talk. And some are more elaborate, and it depends on how elaborate I want to portray and how detailed I want to get. You can, you know, create more elaborate plans quickly. Um, just and, and that just like little accent details that a designer would want in there just to make it look more attractive where they're not necessary, but it just makes the overall picture look more impressive and, uh, you know, creates that excitement. The same with a real room. When you're looking at a room with just furniture plunked in it, it looks okay, but as soon as you start adding all the details of the artwork and the accessories and the flowers and the window treatments and the plants and the teacup and the book and that sort of thing that, you know, it, it allows you to, to create that harmony in the room that people, you know, enjoy seeing really how the room is used and, and um, you know, how they're going to feel. Tim was very helpful with that in that when I would come across a challenge or a, a stumbling block or how do I create this or how can I make this look like that, um, Tim was really good at, you know, kind of teaching me and guiding me some ways to manipulate some of the objects to create what it is that you're looking for. There's always a way to create it somehow. You just have to know your product and, um, you know, know where to find it and how to manipulate it to create what it is you want. I'm just hiring and training a girl right now, and um, she has experience in the AutoCAD 3D Max which is really detailed and really intense. So she has all those skills for that, but 
this for her is so easy and hands-on and so quick, and that's the difference. Some of the more complicated programs are very time-consuming, so it eats up any sort of, I guess, profit or, um, you know, uh, the time that you're, you're billing your client. Uh, you know, you end up spending a lot of, of time on detail, which isn't necessary to create that. So this program allows us to do it quickly without getting too detailed, without, you know, having to spend too many hours on the project. There was another element that's really important that I wanted to tell you about as far as my business goes that's even um, more helpful than just the service part of it. Mm -hmm. But because I sell furniture and accessories, my the, my furniture sales have probably quadrupled. I have a showroom with furniture, and um, once I'm able to get the client in and do a 3D for them, then what I do is I show them the real product. And the real product, first and foremost, I try to use my own product. So I, I've ended up selling tons more, like way more furniture than I had before I started using 3Dream. Because what it does is it gets the client excited because they see the furniture in the space. And they go, well, that's great. Where do I get that couch? And I say, well, right here, this is the couch that I would. So I try to represent in the plan product that I actually carry. So I'll modify a couch to its real size or a sectional to its real size so that I can show them the real product and then offer them that. And then I show them the colors and I, then I would do this chair and this console table. So I try and represent real products in my design so that when they're ready to start their buying, they can do it all very easily through me. Or people can go piecemeal at themselves at some of the bigger box furniture stores or where they can go to any furniture store but because we have the design background what it does is it gives them that design service um, and allows them to have a completely finished room without running around all over the city to find different things here and there and it also allows them to do things at their own pace so that they can buy just the couch right now if they want because now they have this solid um, and then they, they're not going to waste their time buying and returning or buying a piece of art that's not the right size or shape or that sort of thing. So now they have this nice finished plan and they can say, all right, I can afford my couch today. Um, and maybe after Christmas we'll do the artwork or whatever. But And then there's a lot of people that just buy the whole package. Perfect. I'll take the art, the couch, the thing. So that would have never happened before because they wouldn't be able to see the whole plan. 